Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the old injectors. So I pulled these new injectors back apart again. Um, these have spacers that were in the top here, these little washers. Um, you guys can see you have three uh, per each one. There's a really thin one here, kind of a medium and a large. Um, for whatever reason, one of them had an additional thin one in it. I'm not sure why. You can also see these two fired. This one never did. This one here, this uh, actual uh, needle, or the, oh, I don't, I'm not sure what the exact term, I can't think of it off the top of my head right now, but anyway, this is what goes up and down, allows fuel in and out under pressure. So um, this one was stuck. So you were never getting fuel into that cylinder. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what was going on with this one, but kind of the same thing. So, a little bit weird uh again not 100 percent sure what was going on with these so pull them apart here i've kind of got them laid out i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet but i do have all the original parts here in the basket i'm going to go ahead and dip these let them soak for a couple hours um so this is chem dip so use this for years on motorcycle carbs and different things so it works works great so we'll go ahead and set those in there let that soak for a while and then we will clean those all up put them back together and at least see what the skid steer does at that point um, again i changed a few different things if you guys watch the videos uh, swap the turbo out welded the manifold I believe everything on that backside is is in good shape now um, i'm almost positive it's the injector issue especially after pulling the injectors and noticing that two of them weren't even firing. Everything had diesel on the top side. Um, so there was diesel getting to the injectors. Not 100% sure why the one wasn't working. A little weird. That spacer might've been in that one. I'm really not sure which one that came out of. Um, and then also the one that was stuck uh, definitely wasn't gonna do shit. So a little bit aggravating uh, having the issues I'm having with them, but that's what you get for buying uh, cheap parts. So again, this is more of a, hey, if you guys are doing this crap and you're buying it yourself, spend a little extra money um and which is probably what's going to happen here if, if this does work and i get it running and it's kind of doing the same thing then we might dive in and um i'm, I'm getting prices right now from a local uh, bobcat dealer for him so uh, good possibility he's going to be going and getting the actual injectors that are oem for this machine so but we'll see how that all goes again right now i'm just wanting to eliminate some of the other variables some of the other stuff that i have swapped out so i clean these up put it in and it runs flawless I'm not going to mess with it anymore but put them in it runs just like it did before um yeah we'll, we'll see where we go from there but anyway just kind of wanted to show these because uh, yeah a little frustrating but i mean it's pretty obvious you guys can see the black on those and the others still look brand new so yeah see what happens but yeah, I'll cut back um, after I get all this put in I'll let you guys know the outcome I'm gonna basically show you guys how to um, put these together um, real quick just because there's not a lot of information out there so here's one I've already cleaned this um, so basically you got your upper piece the washer here goes on top if you guys can see that um, you're gonna have a spacer goes in there your spring your I guess this would be what your needle kind of rests on you set that right there in the spring okay so next you're gonna have this piece um, this is gonna set just like this so you want your grooved side here you guys can I don't know if you guys can see that but there's indentions that's gonna set um, right like that and then you're gonna have your um, needle which I've already got in here this needle is gonna go inside it'll pull out basically like that it's gonna go right inside of here just like that you want to make sure it's nice and loose it goes out the end that's going to set right there so basically that's exactly how your injector is gonna to go together and then you're gonna slip it inside the lower piece here and put it together. It 
So pretty simple. Um, put these together. Should look just like that when it's said and done. So that's one injector clean, ready to go. I'm getting ready to put this other one together here. So basically I'm using Kim Dip. I think I showed that earlier in the video to clean these and then some brake clean. Spraying them all off here on the rag, wiping everything down. It's not really gonna show the process, it's pretty straightforward. You're basically just taking, spraying them down, wiping them, so. I'm gonna put these all together. I've almost got three of them done here. Um, we'll throw them back in the uh, Bobcat and see what happens, so. All right, guys, so we're gonna end this video here. Um, I think right now what I'm gonna do is get him a price for actual Bobcat or OEM dealer uh, injectors. We'll give those a shot, see what happens. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. So, I mean, it, it is a little frustrating. It runs, moves, does everything it was doing before, but it just, man, it smokes quite a bit. So, uh, something's not quite right. Still don't know really what it is for sure, but could definitely be those injectors again. All I did was clean them, put them back in. Um, like I said earlier, it's a little frustrating that the ones we ordered are that they're just crap, to be 100% honest there. They don't even fit. So uh, yeah, it is what it is, but we'll, we'll get it fixed one way or another and keep, keep at it until we figure it out. But thought I'd at least throw some videos out on this, kind of some of the stuff every once in a while that I mess with. Normally it doesn't go like this one. Again, this is not really uh, something I work on a whole lot. Uh, typically it's more small engine um, type stuff, kind of what you guys have seen on the channel in the past. So uh, a lot of four wheelers and lawnmowers, power washers, and basically anything with a small gas engine uh, for the most part. But this is very similar. Uh, if it was my own, I would give it a shot. So again, uh, this guy does a lot of work for us. So thought, hey, see what I can do. But we'll keep trying. I'll let you guys know if uh, new injectors fix it, and I'll probably give an update uh, when when we get those in or what we end up doing. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you all in the next one.